Well, I must say I feel very privileged to be given access to the fashion collection at the Victoria and Albert Museum. I'd like to show fashion in a way that it's never really been seen before, the hidden depths of fashion. The quality and range of what you have here is world class and being able to show that to people in a different way is an exciting opportunity for everyone. And Nick approached us with the idea of maybe x-raying some objects in the collection. We thought it would be a great project to work on. He is the expert in this field and he knows what will make a good picture and what will potentially be revealed. We know our collections and so we have maybe suspicions and hunches and things we'd like to know more about. Through x-ray there are things that you can find out that are hidden within linings, bonings, shaping, potentially new stories and new ways of interpreting the pieces from their very beginning and making to how they were worn. Museum objects need to stay within the museum and Nick came up with the incredible idea of building a mobile x-ray unit. So you enter the trailer in the middle and if you come in here you can see that the x-ray machine is high, it's in the roof and we put the objects on the floor. One of the great challenges is of course that clothing is supposed to be worn on the body. Obviously when we work in the museum we can use mannequins and specially prepared body shapes but with the x-ray of course you can't have anything inside and Nick has come up with a wonderful way of dealing with that. Party balloons, they don't really show up on the x-ray and they help to support and give volume. Just, could you just position it, that's it, make it beautiful? Yeah, what do you think? It all looks pretty regular. You've got that fin slightly wider than that fin, but it is, you know, it's never going to go right because it's, no. it's well used, isn't it? Okay, gang. Happy? Yeah. Okay, so let's all go out. I'll come out last. In a nutshell, x-rays are invisible to the human eye, which is why it's dangerous, because you don't see it. It's generated by electrons in a vacuum, and the clever thing about them, you can see through stuff. What I really like about it is the fact that it's like a combination between science and art. And it's surprising. Oh, look at that. Hey! That's lovely. What's that pin doing? That's not a pin contemporary to the garment. That's a modern pin. You can tell because it's got a sharper head. Um, so that's something... It shouldn't be there. It shouldn't be there. <laughs> But also you can see that there's actually two lines of rivets in the stays. So that looks like it's been repurposed. And there's the balloon. <laughs> it shouldn't be there either. <laughs> With the Lee Barry designed Blitz denim jacket, that x-ray is fascinating because it's almost as though somebody has taken a pen and scribbled frenetically all over the film. And it strangely really retains an energy for a flat image, which is very moving and in a way a great tribute to Lee Barry. I think the key thing about the x-rays is it enables you to look at something that you may be very familiar with in a totally new light. There are lots of different stories and we have found some fascinating things. <laughs>